This is Fox 46. Good day, Charlotte. Halloween may be over, but many kids are still enjoying the fruits of their labor. Uh, candy, not fruit at all. While a lot of sweets sound like a good problem to some, not everyone wants to keep the temptation around. Local pediatrician Dr. Anna Maria Temple joins us this morning to break down the, uh, the sugar rush that we all get um, without putting it all to waste. Got some great ideas. Oh, oh, okay, We should practice it better, but... I mean, it's raining candy at my house. I don't know about you guys, but it is like a sea of candy. So I'm so excited to talk about this today. This is great. You got your own prop, people. I'm so jealous, Dr. Tipple. I, I have a whole set. I, you have no idea. I know you do. You got your family involved in this. I love it. All right, listen, you got your candy bowl, too. Uh, so let's start with what is wrong with what is in the candy bowl. By the way, all the teens in my neighborhood, they're now using pillowcases, Dr. Temple. Pillow, yeah, As, what in the world? All right, so what is in here that's so bad? Well, problem is a one bucket holds about 250 pieces of candy. That's a lot of candy. Let's trans translate into how many pounds of sugar. That is three pounds of sugar, 9,000 calories. And you may say, well, what does the three pounds of sugar really mean? Well, let me put it into perspective. So... The human body can only process six packets of sugar in 24 hours. Six packets. This is a hundred packet. I mean, a hundred three pounds oh. that we're having our children at their our children's disposal. And what is the problem with with all the sugar? Well. Six packets of sugar in a day is no problem. The body needs it to use it to fuel its various systems. However, once we eat more than that, let's say 100 grams of sugar a day, that depresses our immune system from working for up to five hours. And not to mention, it shrinks our children's brain and the adult brains. And that leads to memory issue, focus issues, inattention, hyperactivity, that sound familiar to anybody? <laughs> so we want to avoid that. We're not saying don't enjoy Halloween. It is you've enjoyed the day. Awesome. What do we do after? Oh, that is the question. All right. There's not a lot left uh, at, at our Fox studios. A lot of people have hopefully they've given it away, but I have a feeling a lot of people have eaten it. But yeah, what do we do if we still have pounds of sugar sitting around our house? What do you recommend? All right. So number one, we are going to use the stitch witch. You're welcome. This is messing up my bun. The what? And what it is, you have the kids take all the candy, leave it at the front door when they go to bed at night, and in the morning, the witch will bring them a present. Number two, huh. you can use the rule of five, which is in my latest book, and you have the kids have them the candy for about five days and then take it to work and donate it to everyone you work with, and hopefully their brains stay nice and strong. Number three, take the candy to the dentist. A lot of dentists in the local area will pay for the kids to trade in candies because we all want to save our children's brains and teeth. Also, you can help take all this candy and have the kids trade it for their favorite restaurants, or you can donate it to the local food bank or your troops, which you can actually Google online, and you can send this to our local troops. Wow, that is impressive. Did you have all that candy? Was that just for this interview today, or is that candy that your kids actually earned around the neighborhood? That is actually truly earned candy, and I'll tell you, my kids now are old, so that is a low stash. Usually it's like three times that. And can I tell you, my husband's the one who gave them an idea. They're like, don't do the bucket. That doesn't give you enough candy. You need the pillowcase. Oh, my gosh. Way to go. Yeah, brilliant idea, huh, with all these full-size candy bars. All right, this is good stuff. Uh, we're going we're gonna, to uh, get rid of some of the sugar because we know what it does to our brain. And if there's a chance that you can switch cash for candy, I think it is, uh, it's absolutely brilliant. Why would you not do that? There it is, Dr. Anna Maria Temple, trying to help save our teeth, trying to help save our brain uh, for the kids and adults alike. We appreciate you giving us ideas. We wish you the very best. I'm going to the dentist to get some money. Thank you for your time. Thank we you appreciate so much. It. Stay well. <laughs> All right. We'll see you soon. Take care.